Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a little bit of uh, the Resident Evil remake. Now that's the um what was it? 2002, 2001. Yeah, I think the 2002. I'm gonna say I don't have a script. Yeah, it's the 2002 remake of the original 1996 Resident Evil. Now. But it's also a kind of re-release of that, or a remastered version of that. Because 2002, obviously, they're not, you know, Xbox, the, the numbers don't add up. The, um, technically a remaster of a remake, but it's really just a basic port of uh, the remake. Which holds up surprisingly well for a game of that age. Um, let's get right into it anyway. Very, these clips don't hold up quite so well there. <laughs> But the gameplay itself, it, um, it uses these uh, sort of pre-rendered backgrounds like the old Resident Evil games did. And because of that, it's able to look much nicer than it otherwise would. Like if it was fully 3D, 3D uh, it would not look so nice. Anyone who's played games from like early 2000s will know it. Of, that they kind of show their age quite a lot. Um, already rambling on a bit. To be honest, I'm taking a bit of a gamble using my voice on this because right now I haven't had any feedback on like the Ace Combat Seven DLC missions. So I, where those are, where, like, where I first start using my voice in these gameplay throughs. So I really have no idea if, you know, people hate those or not. I guess it shows I'm getting a bit more confident in my voice, so... I've just load that up. It won't actually load a game, it's just uh, sort of clear data, it gives me some extra bits and things. Um, anyway, I've tried to sort of keep the chat mostly to the game rather than like off topic stuff. Now the way this, oh wait, 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 no, 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 I've already done that. Go back once again. Hard. Resident Evil. Now the way this game works is you have two characters. You have him, Chris Redfield, and you have heard your Valentine. And you have a kind of play, it's difficult. you have a playthrough of each character, I suppose. Like the first one I've played is her. So now I'm gonna do his half of the game. It's all, if I remember correctly, it's pretty similar. Maybe it's, maybe it's more different than I remember. There's a couple of different characters you bump into, a few things work differently. I'm gonna play it anyway. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Disappeared during the middle of their Has mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, right? Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Team's helicopter was a derelict. Mm -hmm. 
safe for the remaining body of Kevin. Looks like he was a derelict as well. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Uh, is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Alright, now the cut scene's over, I can talk again. Um... So the first thing you noticed is probably, I suppose, the graphics, since I was mentioning they look quite good. Obviously they're not uh, like an Xbox One game or a Series X or, or even really like before that. But for the time, these are really good. Like 2002 games just didn't look like that back then. And that's mainly because, as you can probably tell, it's technically not really 3D, it's a kind of still image with a few elements sort of added on, like see those, uh, well the lightning there on the left, or the fire on those, the flames on those candles, little things added that make it look more natural. And it just lets them have a lot more detail, and it has a kind of look to it, it's hard to really it's hard to put it into words, but it has a pretty sort of unique look to it that the old Resident Evil games have with these old backgrounds like this. Now that clip that was in the first, that clip that just played, it, um, in the original game it was actually done with real actors. It was like filmed and it was incredibly cheesy and like 
really, really bad acting, the worst acting you can imagine. I'll have to do a playthrough of the original one day. I'm going to get a kind of backup recording of this going in case I get interrupted or I want to cut out some voice chat. See how I'll do this is uh, I have a USB key in and I just start recording and that one, see because the Xbox is built in recording won't record my voice. So if things go wrong or there's any loud background noises I can sort of cut between the two and splice them together. Hopefully my voice isn't too annoying or, you know, the voiceover isn't too shitty. I I'm still getting the hang of this. This gameplay isn't really for everyone, like, but the, like, these camera angles a lot of people don't like, um, uh, the movement, of course. To be honest, everything is sort of a bit of a mixed bag, really, whether you like this or not. Some people love it, and, uh, some people hate it. Did I check that fireplace? Uh, I don't think I'll take that yet, no. That's the thing. I'm pretty sure as uh, Jill you had more space here. Or maybe I'm imagining it. We've only got six slots here, which is not very good. Item management is uh, quite a big deal in these old games. You often don't have space for things and have to be careful. Also not having much ammo is another thing. It's all sort of... It's... I don't put it into words. It's quite easy to completely mess up your save game in this. Like you might find that you've used up too much ammo and you literally can't go forwards, so you can sort of botch your save game like that. It kind of adds to things a bit. It's infuriating when it happens, but it, it keeps you on edge more, you know? It feels like there's more of a consequence to things. It just, it's hard to really put it into words. I like it. Um, it's irritating when it happens, but just the sort of, uh, the threat of that happening and having to sort of conserve all your ammo and items. I I like that gameplay in this. It it's weird. It's pro some pe a lot of people would hate it, but I don't. See how the background is black. That's because it's not actually a real 3D background here. It's just, uh, what would you call it? These sort of flat 3D, flat uh, images. Normally, as Jill, you could just run back and uh, Barry would shoot the thing. I don't remember what happened, this is him. <laughs> it looks like I don't get the same, uh, yeah, it looks like I have to deal with him myself. I think things are tougher as Chris. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? to get a gun now. <laughs> See, yeah, like, um, as Jill, you would have, uh, 
All you had to do was run out a bit and Barry would shoot that zombie dead. It's him, uh, no one helps you and they're just gone when you get back, so... <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit tougher as him. I think I have to search around here for a bit, and then maybe something happens, I don't know. The majority of these doors will all be locked. Wait, how do I check my map again? I think that might be one of the few that isn't. Don't want to open that door again. If you do, you'll you'll just get some zombie dogs running in, and you you can't go through anyway. So all you're gonna do is use up your health and ammo doing that. Chinese urn, uh, cabbage will probably like that. Where should I go next? I suppose I could deal with a zombie here, or. I might not have a choice, everything might be locked. Now this one's open. Right, this puzzle isn't especially hard, you just uh push the thing that set of drawers or whatever it is so you can climb up and get there. It's locked. Emblem of a sword. Yeah. Alright. Push it further? Or maybe that's enough. There's a map of a mansion, first floor. Take it, of course, yeah. Right now we can see all the doors that are locked and open. Not a lot of them are open. What about. I think second floor has one, so maybe I'll try that. If you're watching this, you've probably seen my uh, playthrough of this as Jill, so you have some rough idea of things that are going to happen. You probably know there's a zombie in there, so I'm going to use this as a kind of barricade. See, he can't, the zombie can't climb up that, but I can. <laughs> Anything yet. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. That sounds a little bit off, but right. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and uh, then select an item from the defensive item menu, then select the equip command. 
If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press LB to use your defensive item. I think it's set to manual, I don't even remember to be honest. Yeah, this happens. That's why I push the thing back, so uh, I can kind of block the door and don't have to bother with them. Oh, I don't even have to use my defensive thing. See, sometimes you can uh, just sort of outmaneuver the enemies. Other times it doesn't go so well. And now that's done pretty well because now he can't even get me. Oh, I keep getting the controls wrong. Can he reach and stab him? That would be pretty useful, but I don't think so. Oh, come on, that's so close. Uh, you could probably shoot him, but I don't see a need to do that really if he's stuck. And I think he'll be stuck. Unless the position of those drawers resets, then I'm kind of in trouble. Let's just take a look, see if I have. Hope not. <laughs> No, it's still pretty much blocked up. It is a bit. Could be problematic. Hopefully not. Anyway, let's get going with things. Is the zombie coming this way? Yeah. You're probably wondering why I'm not really killing that much. Um, it's good to conserve ammo. And there are some other reasons, but I'll get into those uh, a bit later in once they're sort of introduced. Basically, you don't want to leave too many of these dead zombies. You don't want to leave too many of them dead or... Things can, uh, things can happen, let's put it that way. Both those doors are locked, so not really much of a choice of where to go here. Stained glass window. The pattern in the center resembles a woman, or right, whatever. before he comes back around. There we go, just in time. Right, I'm pretty sure all these doors up here are locked. Aside from uh, this one, but I don't think I should go there yet. I'll just go ahead to where it probably wants me to go. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that I did the playthrough as Jill, so I do know quite a lot of how the puzzles and things are gonna go, and what stuff I need and when, that kind of thing. I don't think I need to take this uh, gem jewel type thing yet. It'll be some time, so I'm just going to leave that there for now. Same with this uh, shield item. What am I going to do with this zombie? I'm not sure, because he's blocking away, but again, I don't want to leave too many dead bodies around yet. And use up too much ammo. Can I make a run for it? If I turn to the right, 
everything's locked there. I need to get past them and by going to the left. This narrow hallway that might be... Wait, is he gone? He's gone. It looks like I don't have to deal with him after all. He's just disappeared. The corpse of your comrade. It's a bit strange words to use, <laughs> Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's for film that belongs to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Now, let me just spool this ahead of time. Oh, wait, where? Who did that? Where? So, wait, did I did I imagine a zombie moaning or? No, he's got to be down there somewhere, hasn't he? Oh, well, that's pretty useful. Hopefully, he hasn't noticed me. I'll just sneak by. Anyway, what was what was I saying? That film. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing important on that. It's just a little clip of him being killed by zombies or dogs or something. I don't know why they kind of big it up. Like, they make you wait until the end of a game to see it. Like, it's some huge thing. It's really nothing. Large bird cage. Is a dead raven. Ah. Oh. Oh. Don't trust him one bit. Take the green herb. Yeah, that's good. I don't remember everything, and there are going to be some differences between this and the way it goes when you play as Jill, so there's that as well. stuff is locked here. Oh, the movement can be a bit funny in this game. I think this is a dead end, but there might be some ammo and stuff. Who knows? Death is only the beginning. Death is the essence of bliss. It kind of sounds like some edgy, try-hard, emo-ish kind of thing. Death is everything. <laughs> it's like what you'd read on that. Oh, I don't know, emo, sort of Satan type uh, thing on a GTA try-hard. It's locked. Helmet is in the lock. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. And he'll just take it like a donut. Like, why would you see, oh, oh, may terrible things happen. May you find death if you take this. And then you just take it anyway. But <laughs> it's just how this game goes. Ooh. Yeah, it was a really smart thing to do. And so what you need is a sort of dummy key that's shaped like that. And then you can swap it and get out with a real one. Okay, so nothing here for now. Yeah, unfortunately means I've got to go past some uh, zombies. Like kill them. Use for s maybe use a defensive thing or just try run around them. I don't know. 
Oh, it's gonna be very hard to maneuver around that one that sort of fix obviously <laughs> there. Oh! Is he dead? He can't be dead already, surely. No, no, he is. Locked from the other side. Oh, I need that. Oh, that looks like some hanging on. Look in the mirror there as well. You can see that around the corner. You can see the zombie there. Not sure what I'll do with him. Do I stab him? Run past? Maybe something else? I don't know. There might be enough room for me to sort of outrun him here. Wait, let's read. From the status screen, select an item and then select the examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. So they're giving me a little hint here, basically, that I should examine this and maybe I'll find something else. And you will. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Arrowhead, right. That will be used somewhere around. Did it might be just enough room for me to get around him? Ah, I can't get this ammo yet, that's a bit... I'm surprised he doesn't really notice I'm there yet. Now I can unlock the door to that sort of big uh, balcony type walkway, I don't even know another word thing for it, out there on the bottom of bottom left. But now I've got to run past him, probably use some ammo. I think I'll just go back the way I came. And where we're going to go next is where I'll use that uh, arrow thing. Just want to be sure he's really dead because he didn't take a lot of ammo or anything. Yeah. Let's see what I mean when the controls can be a bit funny. This is a kind of extra control type they added with a re-release of a port of it, where basically wherever you point the stick, your character moves. It makes sense, you'd think. Although with these camera angles, sometimes that can mean you sort of run in the wrong direction at times, because the camera angles, uh, positions are constantly shifting. It's kind of hard to explain. Still don't need that thing yet, so I think it might be a good idea to save right now, actually, yeah. Uh... You can see I've got lots of old slots because I've played this game quite a few times before. Your saving is limited by how many of these uh ink ribbons you have but you get enough that you should probably save quite often it's more ammo and health that you need to keep an eye on really if i remember correctly last time i played i had quite a lot of unused uh, daggers and defensive things at the end too, so I'll probably use a bit more of them this time. And just go for saving up ammo. 
So I'll probably be using a knife quite a bit, and if I get caught, a little defensive dagger. And there's always just sort of running around people as well. Can I get around him? Yeah, pretty easily. There's a thick one there. <laughs> Tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of a arrowhead. There we go. I'm not really sure if I can run around those two again, unfortunately. Well, maybe I can. So you've got a bit of a puzzle going on here. If you've watched the first playthrough, um, you'll as Jill, you'll probably remember this. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? Uh, right. I guess we're going to read the book of curses and I'll examine it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I want to open it. Open the fucking book, won't you? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to open it. Yeah, that's why. Right. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Obviously, I will. I got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The four masks. The mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. And again, there's this thing where it's like, well, let's just, you know, that if evil will awaken if you do it, I've got to see what that is. Like you think. Yeah, the last thing you want to do in this situation is awaken evil. But that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to find a bunch of masks to put on these and uh, then just keep going. Oh, that key as well. What one that? What's that? There's an engraving of a sword. So the, the keys that need, the doors that need a sword key, I can now get those. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get past this lot. You can hear them groaning outside. He's pretty firmly kind of blocking the way. I don't think he'll go down here. sure why but yeah. can I make a run for it yeah maybe when his back's turned like that to the side maybe I can make a run for it yeah got it and there's thick one over there but he doesn't seem to have woken up yet and it's going pretty well so far actually I don't think I've been damaged yet haven't shot a bullet just used up that knife and I didn't grab on that saw Now, which doors can I unlock? That's already unlocked. This one? It's locked. Helmet, so I can't do that one yet. Hopefully this one is still uh, blocked in. I think he is. Keep him stuck in there. Can I unlock this yet? Yeah. You use the sword key. Right, and now we've got another area open. That's pretty much how these old Resident Evil games work. Most quite a lot of backtracking, sort of you're pretty free to move around anywhere you want, to be honest. 
but you've got to unlock everything and find stuff and open up kind of new paths to things. It's not for everyone, but I like it. Oh, whoop. oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that bit. Uh, I can't fit a whole, you can see how this limited uh, space, if I'd taken that blue jewel thing from earlier and the shield, I wouldn't have any space. I'm gonna have to go back and get that at some point. Yeah, I think there's some more stuff as well. There might be some handgun ammo here. I think it was, or maybe I'm getting it mixed up. I'm oh, not seeing anything yet. Oh, that one maybe is fine. No, 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 that's it. All right, just a dagger then. how this goes. A lot of these doors you can see are locked. The one on my side's locked. There's a little one there might be some stuffing. Uh, let's just go ahead. It's locked. It's an old-fashioned lock that's rather simple in mechanism. Now, if you were Jill, you'd be able to just pick the lock with a lock pick. But Chris, he instead has a lighter in that slot. So if I remember correctly, what he has to do, he has to find these little uh, small keys that are dotted around to unlock those doors. Which means even more space used up, but oh well. Doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. Does that mean it's like shit stains and piss? Or... I'm gonna mix these two. I didn't wanna, but I'm really running out of room here and that's starting to piss me off. He's probably gonna grab me at this rate as well. Oh! That's another area where Jill had it easier as well because when I was playing as Jill, I'm pretty sure they just played a cutscene where she, uh, I, I'm just trying to remember how it went. I'm sure she just sort of killed it in a cutscene or something and you didn't have to bother. You might be able to unlock it using an old key. So I need these old keys to unlock things that she would have otherwise easily unlocked. Use the old key. Use the old key. Don't think I want to go there yet. Maybe in a little while. I don't think there's anything to go back there for either. This is part of why I tend to play as Jill. Like some of these things are just uh, a bit less of a hassle.
I kind of annoyed I had to mix those two green herbs because you could mix them separately with red ones and it just works out better. Didn't really have a whole lot of choice though. It, and I don't want to have to run back into that zombie and then get bitten and use up health. See a lot of these these uh, old Resident Evils. There's quite a bit of just sort of planning out what you're gonna do and sort of strategically, you know, saving up the ammo. I don't think I have room for it. Oh, I do. I knew that would happen, but I didn't want to spoil it for anyone who might not have uh, seen my other playthrough. So you hear that slam shot? I have to put the shotgun back. What we'll do, I guess we'll have to find something else to put there. Well, I'm not guessing, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it vaguely sort of interesting for anyone who hasn't seen this already. Hoping I get an item box soon because I'm just really running out of space to pick things up. What's beyond here? Is that where I came through? I don't think it is. Oh shit, I shouldn't have gone here. This door is, uh... Basically that door is kind of old and breaking. So if you go through it too many times, that door breaks. So, it, yeah, you've got to kind of limit how much you go through that or you'll end up having to go other routes where you go past stuff that you don't really wanna that uh, it is what it is oh god what do I, I didn't really sh I shouldn't have done that and I shouldn't really just go back either now I could go if I did go back and I go sort of take a right go to that thing at the sort of top of the map don't think there's much I can do there yet anyway. Gah. Just wish I hadn't really fucked that bit up. Let me think for a minute. I don't think there's anything much there yet. Alright, let's go for it. I don't think he's woken up yet. Someone has, so I can hear someone walking. Uh. Yeah, he's woken up. Oh wait, I have a defensive thing. Do I? Yeah, yeah, I do. I could just stab him. Uh, what? <laughs> what is he trying that for? Alright, I fucked up, but I'm still gonna save, I think. Take the ink ribbon first. Oh, an old key. Alright. Hold on. Right, now I need to put some old bullshit away. And it's not old bullshit, but, you know, whatever I can do to save space. I think I'll save first. I was annoyed that I fucked things up a bit, but it's still going pretty well. 
and you get quite a few ink ribbons anyway so yeah save when you can <laughs> <laughs>